I gotta go to work soon. Um, I was waiting to see if there was more bundles. Microsoft announced last week that they were gonna have some announcements of bundles with an S today. All they did was one bundle. This is how desperate Microsoft is. Uh, Xbox fans, you cannot fucking damage controllers. Because Microsoft said it. <laughs> Underneath all of the five remaining empty boxes for Xbox One bundles that are yet to be announced, it says, stay tuned, great bundles coming all week. They're going to try to spread this out throughout the whole week to combat anything Sony might be doing. That means any new announcements on a 3.0 firmware update, um, the Twitch app official news that's coming to the PS4, as well as the incoming Uvu video messaging app that still has yet to be confirmed, but it's still coming out this year, uh, Fat Princess release date, um, Uncharted news. And um, let's get started with what is going to fuck over the hype from any of these bundles. First of all, starting tomorrow, we have the Uncharted Nathan Drake's collection, which is launching on the PS4 tomorrow when the PlayStation Store is updated. Let me tell you what else we got. And, and this is all exclusive stuff I'm, I'm talking about. Samurai Warriors 4 Part 2 for the PS4, PS3, and PS Vita. It's also on PC. It's not on any other platforms except for those four. PS4, PS3, PS Vita, PC. Then, we got this. Microsoft paid, so this game will be on Xbox One first. It is a Japanese RPG MMO. Very anime. And uh, it's I believe it is free. It came on Xbox One. I believe either it was the week before last week or the week before that. Not a single Xbox One fan cared. Crap Gamer, Next Gen 720. Mooch, Showstopper, Tim Dog, nobody acknowledged that this existed first on Xbox One. And guess what? Now it's coming to the PS4. They didn't even want to announce when the game was coming to the PS4 because they were so ashamed that they fell for Microsoft's trap. But it's coming to the PS4 and I will review it. We have Hardware Rivals. It's a military type twisted metal uh, game. A uh, very competitive uh, you got tanks, you got military uh, um, t style uh, jeeps and Humvees and all of that stuff with weapons on them. Uh, you got tanks on against jeeps, all of that type of stuff. It should be pretty cool. That beta is launching uh, September 30th. PlayStation Plus is required. And then here's my favorite that I've been really interested in. This is Dungeon Defenders Part 2. Part 3 was only on a PS4. Uh, sorry, it was only on a PS3. And PC. The original Dungeon Defenders was on a PS3 with PlayStation Move support as well as on PC. Part 2 started on a PC earlier this year in uh, alpha form and now it's on beta and they're putting it on the PS4. Um, the lowest tier that you can pay for in currency is like about $10 and it will uh, qualify you for the beta. So I'm going to be paying the lowest tier. Uh, that This beta launches tomorrow which is um, when Uncharted launches, the demo. So, they believe Tomb Raider is good enough. Microsoft did the Tomb Raider deal, just so anybody needs to really know. They did the Tomb Raider deal because they knew Uncharted 4 was coming out this holiday season, but Uncharted 4 had a unfortunate hiccup. Uh, they knew they were going to push it back, and they were also working on the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection. So, Uncharted Nathan Drake collection took the place of what where Uncharted 4 would have been at. Meaning, Uncharted 4 would have came out before Tomb Raider anyway. So, now, Tomb Raider's little uh, one terabyte, two Tomb Raider game, um, games uh, on a... Uh, not on one disc, two, two di separate uh, game discs, has to go up against three Uncharted games. All of them massive Game of the Year successes. All of them 1080p 60 frames per second. You get them in digital format on a standard PS4 for $399, $400. So this is what you get. This is our bundle. Their bundle is one terabyte with only two Tomb Raider games. Um, the Definitive Edition, which if you all remember, uh, the PS4's version of the Definitive Edition was better than Xbox One. And then you get Rise of the Tomb Raider. When Rise of the Tomb Raider comes to the PS4 in 2016, 
it will have some sort of similar incentive. It will include the first definitive edition one on the same disc or a digital voucher. So this this is a very boring beta. I mean, sorry, it's a very boring bundle. Uh, I'm trying to hurry up to get for work, so I'm tongue-tied tongue right now. But we're going to talk about the heavy hitters that Sony has talked about and has revealed. Uh, we got the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 uh, bundle. This is the official box of what it's going to look like. Pretty badass compared to the uh, standard one that I saw on their site. So this is what the box is going to look like. It's one terabyte bundle. It's 450 this uh, Darth Vader limited edition PS4 bundle, which includes the classic, four classic um, Star Wars games, uh, spanning from the Super NES to the N64 style um, Star Wars games. Uh, that's going to be included, Battlefront, and like I said, limited edition PS4, as well as a limited edition co uh, controller. That's also 450 Can't beat that. I believe it is going to be, uh, I, I don't know if it's going to be one terabyte, or if it's going to be 500 uh, gigabytes. And then also you know the advertisement for Taco Bell. Which gives you the golden PS4. With the golden PS4 controller. As well as a copy of the Nathan Drake collection. Um, that's pretty badass. They're giving away one every 10 minutes. They only have made 6,000 of these. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that's how that's going. Microsoft has to go against that existing news, let alone PlayStation Experience, let alone Paris Game Week. This is what Microsoft is going up against. I don't know what they're going to do with these bundles. I know a couple of them are going to be very desperate shit. Sunset Overdrive, uh, Rise, uh, whatever other exclusive they had at the very beginning. They're going to bundle all three of those to one bundle and give you a terabyte. Or they're going to fucking have another Halo Master Chief uh, collection bundle mixed with Halo 5. And give you a one terabyte Xbox One. You know, just talking off the top of my head, but obvious desperate shit that Microsoft can do. They are desperate to stay in the news. And they know no one gives two shits about them right now. So they are fucking desperate. PlayStation.